The Centers for Autism and Related Disabilities are excited to offer school administrators across the state of Florida this video presentation showcasing your colleagues. They will offer their perspectives on the role of administrators in creating a welcoming environment for all students and a culture of inclusion. The accompanying administrator guide will assist you to learn about students with autism spectrum disorder and how you can best serve them in your schools. Everyone deserves respect. There's just kids and teachers and everybody's learning together. The leader must do that. They must lead by showing the way and being involved in all classrooms. So it starts in teachers' classrooms and then it spreads throughout the school. For these four administrators, creating and maintaining a successful program for students diagnosed with ASD includes developing and leading with best educational practices, encouraging their teachers and all other school personnel to use evidence-based practices, and creating an essential culture of acceptance and inclusion that begins with the leadership and radiates throughout the school community and beyond. The school administrator's role is critical to cultivating a culture of acceptance and inclusion, from hiring decisions to the accountability checks needed to maintain a great program for students diagnosed with ASD and retain great teachers to help them. In cultivating this culture, these administrators emphasize promoting communication between teachers serving students with ASD and general education teachers, and providing equal support to all. In order to develop some camaraderie and some cooperation between teachers and ASD teachers on a campus, it's really important for the principal to begin to connect the two. Uh, staff development is very important and awareness of what kinds of students are going to be on campus and what the goal is ultimately for those students. I think communication is key. Knowing the common ground so that those two um, professionals can talk and determine a path for that student. Um, that has been, I've seen here, that's been the, the biggest thing that you have to overcome and work into. In order to foster a culture of acceptance, the leader must do that. Uh, they must lead by showing the way and being involved. You have to first make it a priority at your school. Um, there has to be some conversations with the faculty about the differences of students, and we typically start with the differences as adults first and uh, everybody has to take ownership. So it starts in teachers' classrooms and then it spreads throughout the school. My biggest piece of advice is support those programs just like you would support any other. I'm their biggest cheerleader and I'm their biggest advocate and that's my job. It's my, it's my job as a principal to be the biggest cheerleader and biggest advocate for every program in this school. And that doesn't change just because these are students with disabilities. Leading by example to me means getting around the school, getting into those classrooms, working with those students, and making sure that those teachers have the support that they need. The best way to retain an excellent ASD teacher is to show them that, th that you're there for them all the time. If you are in their classrooms and you know their students and you are just there for them, they will come back. If you can just break down that wall of fear with regard to um, disabled and non-disabled kids and, and do that with your staff, then you, you'll create an environment filled with respect and, and dignity and appropriateness and caring. Experience. When you see an ASD student walk through the halls and general ed students are calling their name or congratulating them or high-fiving them, uh, just the, the reaction from the students you know, from both sides is a terrific experience. And then for a principal, just to be in a building where you're accepting everybody's differences, it's a wonderful melting pot type ex of experience. And so it can bring a lot of positives to the school for sure. The administrator's role in ensuring that all students reach their individual potentials requires implementing and monitoring best educational practices, such as classroom walkthroughs, listening to their teachers, and identifying each student's individual needs. But it's really up to your, your ESC teachers, as good teachers, professionals, case managers, to 
ensure that their students are getting what they need. And if they're not, their communication with us to say, I need help. Um, Johnny's at this level and I don't know what to do. So then we step in and say, well, do you need training? Do we need somebody to come out and assist? Do we, do we need some observations? One of the things that, that I've done here at the school to ensure that our teachers have the best practices is reach out to professionals outside of the school building, whether it's through the district office or through CARD. We ask in those professionals to come into the building and sit with the teachers and review what they're doing and what they can do to improve their practice. When I do a walkthrough in my classes, I look for um, one thing automatically, and it's always engagement. And it, it'll be different from class to class, uh, but in ASD classroom in particular, um, activities are usually short, diverse, and it addresses every single child. And I look to make sure a teacher has a well-planned lesson. That's always a priority. We want to make sure teachers are being creative in their instruction and they're offering the same type of best practices within their room that the other teachers are doing in the general in the general classrooms. I shouldn't walk into an ASD classroom and for the most part maybe everyone it seems like they're on the same lesson but I should be able to walk around and see a differentiation based on what I know about the kids and what their levels are with regard to what piece of that lesson they are doing. When the practice of acceptance and inclusion transforms the school's culture, it positively impacts everyone involved, reaching students, families, and the community at large, giving the opportunity to maximize student outcomes. As these administrators explain, their role is vital in creating this cultural shift. You start fostering that type of thing by being involved in the classrooms. So there's no differentiation from an autism classroom as to any other classroom. It's just a culture, and I do think it uh, resonates from the top down. I think that um, everyone deserves respect, and I think that you communicate that in the way that, that you uh, are inclusive and you do behave towards, towards any parent or student or community member. Opening the school doors, making your school a place that feels safe, that uh, focuses on education and diversity, but welcomes people that come in, into our school. So we, uh, what our school tries to do is have lots and lots of family events so we can get to know our students, we can get to know what they're like, but more importantly, the families can get to know us and what we're like so that we know each other as real people and not just students, not just teachers. At the school site, we don't pretend to have all the answers. So it is important for us to work with experts in this area for answers. Many times we've reached out to CARD to visit our schools, work with our teachers, make observations, and provide feedback on what we can do to improve the circumstances inside of our classrooms. CARD came in last year and uh, we were fortunate enough to have our school used as the training facility. They opened up the training to all of the elementary schools, the middle schools, the high schools, all the support staff, teachers, uh, administrators and parents and once again that's a way for CARD to reach out to our local families and uh, it was a large number of people that came to every meeting it was a different topic every month people knew what the topic was going to be before the training so they could decide if it was um, pertinent to them coming and uh, it always focused around how to support ASD students and the families. It is also very beneficial to do that because parents see that the schools really are looking out for the best interest of their child and finding answers to any of the questions we may have. My job is to make our school a safe place to walk into, a welcoming place, but a place that is obviously open to diverse families, diverse students, diverse faculty and staff. Teachers are here because they love students and all students need to be loved by good teachers and so really if you're doing it the right way you don't even know that you have an ASD program in the building. There's just kids and teachers and everybody's learning together.